All right, I'm gonna do a video here. I just got some stuff in. I just recently got into reloading, and one one of the things you need if you're gonna be doing reloading, uh, you know, is something to clean your brass with. And I've been looking at different things. I just went ahead and got this. It was pretty cheap. Uh, I got it from Cabela's on sale, and also free shipping. So this is fourteen dollars and forty cents for uh, this Cabela's polishing media and uh, polish and then the uh, Frankfurt uh, Arsenal tumbler on sale it was uh, $40 right here so uh, I don't know this is my first experience with them I'm gonna crack them open see what they look like and we'll give it a shot alright I went ahead and opened them up here this is the uh, the media, the corn media, looks fine. Then this is the polish here. Uh, it was over in the corner, you know, it's kind of squished up a little bit, but no big deal. But anyways, there's that. Not too, not too much to see there. Then uh, let's see here. Come over here to this one. I'll try to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Um, open this up you got your lid here on top and uh, yep there we go so there's that and it looks like it's in here upside down maybe okay yep there's your base power cord all that and then there's the bowl goes on there a little hardware pack here and then here's the instructions so uh, I'm gonna get this thing put together and then uh, we'll see if we can get it run running All right, I got it loaded up with the media I put a little bit of polish in there I've got uh, these are 223's I got 90 of these in there and uh, they are dirty they're real dirty I didn't size or deprime these yet um, but man they are dirty and then I've got uh, 10 of these this is my 300 blackout uh, deprimed I'm gonna give these a run All see right, what happens. so ready to put the lid on this is probably the one thing that people that bought this probably complained about the most is just, uh, you know, which to me it's not a big deal. But uh, I guess this nut that you have to screw on here. So that should be good. And you got your little uh, power cord over here. There it is right there, your little switch. So we're going to turn it on. There it goes. Check it in 30 minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's been running for about 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. I mean, it's it's not extremely loud. It's not as loud as I thought it would be, actually. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's not too bad. So it's been running for about 30 minutes. Um, so we're going to turn it off and see what it looks like after 30 minutes and I mean you know I don't know how long it usually takes I have no idea it's the first time I've ever done this so we'll see what uh, 30 minutes did and this stuff was very dirty it was extremely dirty and uh, there's a 223 hmm. I mean it's uh, you know looks pretty good looks pretty good yeah that one there looks looks good I mean I didn't put a ton of uh, polish in there I probably could have put a little bit more polish but you know I've seen things that say if you you know if you put too much polish uh, you know it can uh, it can give you the opposite results but there's a one there and that's one thing I didn't know about deep priming them before uh, you know you did it but the, the primer pocket on that I mean it's still not you know not extremely not extremely clean um, but uh, as far as the brass itself um, 
that one there actually looks uh, looks pretty nice. Um, if I, I have to get a flashlight. Okay, so the insides of the cases are still pretty, uh, still pretty uh, grungy, and uh, so I don't know. I might. Uh, I mean, it was only 30 minutes, and they were these things were really dirty. Um, so I might just throw just a dab more uh, polish in there and uh, let them run for a little bit, a little bit longer, and see what they look like. All right, back after about an hour. You can hear it running. Turn it off. Let's see what we got here. These were really, these were really, really dirty starting out, and uh, yeah, they're looking good. Um, looks like even the inside is getting cleaned out a little bit. There's one of my 300 blackouts, the primer pocket. Doesn't look horrible, but uh, as far as the brass itself looks really good uh, the inside of it yeah could be could be a little bit cleaner you know so uh, so I don't know this is my first experience with it um, and uh, you know most of this brass honestly I've just got into reloading so I've, I've had it sitting around for you know a while uh, you know a couple of years and it's uh, it was extremely dirty extremely dirty and uh, the outsides uh, are looking good the insides are, are better but uh, anyways this is a this is a new experience for me so uh, if anybody's got any wisdom they want to pass along or any comments uh, I'll take them but hopefully this has been a good uh, intro video to my tumbler and uh you know what i'm what i'm doing here to clean these cases thanks for watching